in this video we will uh, calc we will find out some recurrence relations for Legendre polynomials recurrence relations So firstly, uh, why we why we calculate these recurrence relations? Why we prove these recurrence relations? These recurrence relations can be used in many applications uh, between Legendre polynomials, which simplifies uh, the solution of given problem. Uh, using the recurrence relation, we can simplify many problems to solve. So the first recurrence relation is. n plus 1 into p n plus 1 x this is equal to 2 n plus 1 x into p n x minus n into p n minus 1 x now again to prove this uh, we will use the generating function so we have this equation 1 minus 2x t plus t square raised to minus 1 by 2 that is summation p n x t raised to n because we know that this function is generating function for the Legendre polynomials now we will differentiate this equation with respect to t differentiate with respect to t then from the left hand side we will get 1 minus 2x t plus t square raised to minus 3 by 2 into minus 2x plus 2t because we are differentiating it with respect to t and on the right hand side we will get n p n x t raised to n minus 1 because p n x is a function of x so this can be regarded as constant uh, when we differentiate with respect to t so we simplify this minus 1 by 2 and we we take common minus 2 from here and that will be cancelled so we will left only with this term x minus t 1 minus 2 x t plus t square minus 3 by 2 that is equal to summation n p n x t raised to n minus 1 from 0 to infinity now uh, from this raised to minus 3 by 2 we will multiply and we will multiply on both sides the factor 1 minus 2 x t plus t square raised to minus uh, sorry plus 1 we will multiply the factor 1 minus 2 x t plus t square on both the sides so that will become x minus t 1 minus 2 x t t square minus 1 by 2 so this is equal to this plus t square summation n p n x t raised to n minus 1 from 0 to infinity so now we know this function 1 minus 2 x t plus t square raised to minus 1 by 2 this is generating function for Legendre polynomial and this is equal to summation p n into t n so put this value here so we will get x minus t into summation p n x t n from 0 to infinity this is equal to 1 minus 2 x t t square into the summation n p n into t n minus 1 from 0 to infinity now we compare the coefficient of t raised to n on both the sides so on the left hand side uh, if we want to calculate the coefficient of t raised to n then it will be x into p n x then in the next term because we have t here so the coefficient of t raised to n basically is the term which is corresponding to n minus 1 here so that will be p n minus 1 x similarly on the right hand side 1 into this coefficient of t raised to n 
will be the term corresponding to n is equal to n plus 1. So that will be n plus 1, p n plus 1, then minus 2x, now from here it is n, 2nx, p n, plus n minus 1 into p n minus 1 because in this term uh, we have t square here so the uh, coefficient of t raised to n will be the term corresponding to n is equal to n minus 1 so now simplifying this we will get n plus 1 p n plus 1 x this is 2 n plus 1 x p n minus n p n minus 1 x so this completes the proof of uh, the first recurrence relation now uh, this formula this first recurrence relation this is also co called bonnet's recurrence relation this first recurrence relation is called bonnet's recurrence relation now we will prove another recurrence relation which says n into p n x is x into p n dash minus p n minus 1 dash. So p n dash means derivative of p n with respect to x. again start from the recurrence relation so we have this equation 1 minus 2xt plus t square raised to minus 1 by 2 so this is summation pnx t raised to n now because we need here pn dash and pn minus 1 dash which are derivatives of the Legendre polynomial pn with respect to x so we differentiate this equation with respect to x so take the derivative with respect to x we will get minus 1 by 2 1 minus 2x t t square minus 3 by 2 minus 2t and similarly on the right hand side I will we will get pn dash tn because here this t will be considered to be constant Now from the first recurrence relation, we have this equation. From the first recurrence relation, uh, we have this equation. When we differentiate this with respect to t, we get minus 1 by 2, 1 minus 2x t plus t square raised to this, minus 2x plus 2t is equal to this. Or you can say this equation, x minus t into this is equal to summation n p n x t raised to n minus 1. So we divide this equation, let us say this is equation 1 and we say this equation is, so from here firstly we will simplify minus 1 by 2 and this will be cancelled so we will get only t into this factor is to minus 3 by 2 and on the right hand side pn dash x tn from 0 to infinity so let us take this equation as 2 so we divide 1 by 2 to get this result x minus t divided by t and this factor will be cancelled because this factor occurs in both the equations 1 and 2 and on the right hand side uh, we will get this summation n p n x t n minus 1 from 0 to infinity and on the denominator it is summation p n dash into t raised to n so we get x minus t into summation p n dash t n that is just t into summation n p n x t raised to n minus 1 or we can write this t inside the summation and we get the power t raised to n now we compare 
the coefficients of t raised to n on both sides coefficients of t raised to n on both sides and we will get on the left hand side we will get x into p raised to p n dash x and uh, minus p n minus 1 dash x because x into this term so from x into this term the coefficient of t raised to n is this the minus t into this term the coefficient of x t raised to n will be this Similarly, on the right hand side, the coefficient of t raised to n is just n p n. So, this completes the proof of the second recurrence relation. Similarly, uh, we can prove another recurrence relation which says p n plus 1 dash x minus x p n dash x that is n plus 1 p n x. Now we take some example. So using the recurrence relation, uh, generate the Legendre polynomials p2, p3, p4, and this is given to us. P0 x is 1, p1 x is 1. So using the recurrence relation, we have to generate p2, p3, and p4. So we have the first recurrence relation which says n plus 1 pn plus 1 x 2n plus 1 x into pn x minus n into pn minus 1 x. So we put n is equal to 1 in this recurrence relation and we get 2 p2 this is 3 x p1 minus p0 so then we put the value of p1 and p0 which are given to us 3x into x minus 1 so that is 3x squared minus 1 so we have 2 into p2 is equal to 3x squared minus 1 so p2 is just 1 by 2 3x squared minus 1 Similarly, we can calculate the values of P3 and P4 by putting n is equal to 2 and 3 in the recurrence relation. Now, uh, let us take another example. Using the recurrence relation, using the first recurrence relation, uh, evaluate this P2 at point 1 by 5, 1.5 and p3 at 2.1 so uh, in the previous example we have calculated the value of p2 p3 and p4 using the recurrence relation and uh, we have calculated that p2 at x that is 1 by 2 3x square minus 1 so we put the value of x equals to 1.5 and we calculate this 3 into 1.5 square minus 1 so that will be 2.875 so this is how we can calculate p2 at this similarly we can calculate p3 at 2.1 let us take one more example uh, we have to show that integral of p and x with respect to x this is just 1 upon 2n plus 1 pn plus 1x minus pn minus 1x. So now we will use here second and third recurrence relation and we add them. Now second and third recurrence relations are n into pn x is equal to this and the third one is pn plus 1 dash x minus x pn dash x is equal to this we add these two recurrence relations so uh, how we add this left hand side of this will be added to right hand side of this and right hand side of this will be added to left hand side of this so that uh, we get the corresponding terms because on the left hand side of this formula we have pnx and here we have pnx 
Similarly, on the right hand side here, we have derivatives of polynomials, and similarly here we have derivatives. So we will add the two recurrence relations, second and third, adding the recurrence relations. Two and three, we get two into n. Sorry, two into n plus one p n x. This is p n plus one dash minus p n minus one dash because one term which contains p n dash that will be cancelled. So two n plus one p n is equal to this, which means integral. Of p n x that will be one upon two n plus one into integral of this minus integral of this and integral of this will be just p n plus one similarly integral of this just be so taking integration on both sides we get the required result. This is all about the recurrence relations. In the next video, we will find out that the uh, Legendre polynomials they are basically orthogonal and orthonormal functions.